You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Courage to Overcome with your host, Cheryl Jennings. Each week, Cheryl will feature and discuss the many challenges of those living with disabilities, along with the various issues that are faced by their families that are caring for them. So now, please welcome the host of Courage to Overcome, Cheryl Jennings. Welcome to tonight's show. This is Courage to Overcome, and I am Cheryl Jennings, your host. And I'm always excited to have you, but tonight is especially going to be a fantastic show. I have got some of the most incredible information to share with you, and I hope you have paper and a pen handy so that you can write down some of the things that we're going to talk about. I have recently just been in touch with someone that I actually interviewed on my show and she was talking about new technology that was out where you could actually wear health technology on your wrist that would give you so much more information than any of the technology that's out there right now. I know Apple and Fitbit and some of these um wearable technologies are there and people have been very excited about it but wait till you hear what all this does. I ordered mine because I was very interested in knowing how this was going to work because as a caregiver myself, last year was one of the hardest years of our lives because we had so many sick for the whole year and a lot of being away from home and this year my body's kind of caught up and because of so much stress, I've started having some issues with heart rate and with uh, blood pressure and different things that I thought, you know, this would be a good thing to try out, see how it works, and to be able to understand if it was really of value. Well, I can tell you, folks, this has been something that I am so delighted with being able to say it really has helped me a lot. Now, there are so many things we're going to talk about tonight, and I have a special guest that's going to share a lot. But first of all, I just want to set this up in your mind. And for you to pretend that you are a caregiver who is taking care of your parent. I was doing that. I was helping with my mom. And I can tell you that as she got some dementia, she had been wearing a health bracelet around her neck, around her arm for years. We were paying for monthly uh, connections so that if anything happened, she could, you know, call immediately, push a button and would be able to get help. And that happened several times. And so it was great. But then the last time that she fell, she did not remember to push the button. And so she laid in the floor for a while until someone actually was coming to the house to see that she ate and heard her screaming in the house. Now, I can tell you, because of wearing this, how that would have changed. Now, let me describe how it would have been different if it had been now instead of then. My mom would have been able to, because of the things that would happen to her body, if it was a heart rate or whatever caused her to fall, it would have notified one of us that something was wrong and we needed to check on our mom and it would have told us exactly where to go. I cannot tell you how much of a benefit that could be for people who have a person in their life where they're always on edge. They don't know if they're going to, if they have breathing issues, if they have heart issues, if they have blood pressure issues, if there are so many things that this technology could do for them. 
and just to alert them that there is a problem. You need to check on them. And it's something that could really make a difference. And I've thought about with having a son with cerebral palsy, there have been people in our lives that we've gotten to know that have some special needs. And because of that, it often affects their breathing. And so if it would if the alarm would go off, not even where they hear it, but just to notify the parent or someone who's caring for them that they're not breathing right, you might be able to save their life because you were notified. They didn't have to do anything. They don't have to talk to tell you. They don't have to push a button. And to me, this is just a wonderful thing. And I know that our technology is changing our lives. We have proof of it. And there's so many things that we can do. But to be able to wear something that would actually perform for us and to be able to know when something's not right. Now, personally, I've had a lot of fluctuations and I've had the alarm go off several times in the last few weeks because my blood pressure wasn't working right. It was going too high. It was going too low. My heart rate would drop too low. In fact, the first day that I hooked it up where I was putting in my husband's number, because you can actually connect it to three people, I put in my husband's number and we were riding in the car on the way to a doctor's appointment in Oklahoma City. And we are on the turnpike. And I thought, well, I'll just put in my daughter that also lives in Oklahoma, but she's 200 miles from us. But she would be the closest next of kin that we would need to notify. So I put her number in there and I thought, well, you know, her husband is a paramedic and he would know if there was some reason to not- uh, to be notified, to be able to get in touch with our daughter or to call my husband or to just check and see what's happened. Well, I didn't realize it. But my alarm went off just within a few minutes of doing that. My heart rate had dropped down into the 40s. And my daughter was trying to reach me going, what's wrong? It told me to check on you and that you were on H.E. Bailey Turnpike and told me where to find you. And I just, I laughed. I didn't realize it even happened. It did it without me having to be notified. It did it without me having to be involved in pushing buttons, making phone calls, or calling for help. This is something that it would really I know would change the life of a caregiver. Now, we've talked about how many people there are that are caregiving. And one of the biggest problems with these 50 million people out here trying to be home caring for somebody without pay, one of the biggest problems they have is that they burn out or their bodies give out and they don't even realize that they are really neglecting their own health. Well, if you as a caregiver had a device that would help you monitor the things that we're going to talk about, how many steps you take, how many uh, hours of sleep or minutes are you getting? Is it good sleep? Is it deep? Is it light? Is it how many times did you wake up? Even if you have a CPAP machine, I'm finding out I'm not sleeping hardly any. So that could be another problem that I'm going to need to get checked into because I already have a CPAP. But this is showing me that many nights I'm getting like an hour to an hour and a half of deep sleep. That's not enough. And it tells me insufficient. It also tells me uh, it can can notify me about the harmful rays just by being outside with the sunlight. We also have devices that can you can actually put on your technology to help the radiation that's coming out, the electromagnetic uh, waves that come out of our phones, our computers, and televisions, things that we are just we're around constantly and we don't realize how much these harmful rays are affecting our bodies and I have brought people on this program who've told you that so much of this technology being given to children that are really little holding these phones close to their heads it's actually doing damage to the brain so if there's something that we can do that's going to make our lives better and help our health to be better that's what I want to share with you so tonight I have I've got an amazing person who's been doing this for a while, knows a lot more about it than I do. I can tell you 
that I can actually, when I think something's not right, I can actually stop and take an EKG and then I can print it out and I've got some I'm going to be taking to my heart doctor. Now, is that not amazing? Because when I was there to see the heart doctor a few months ago, they said, okay, when you have these times that you think that your heart is going too fast, go to the ER and let them do an EKG. I don't have to go to the ER anymore. I can now do this and I can take it and then they'll know whether they need to do more tests on me. It's just wonderful. So tonight I am just going to open the door for you to make phone calls if you want to call in and ask questions. The number that you will call is 866 866- Four five one one four five one, and if you have somebody that you know needs to be hearing this, I wish you would call them right now and tell them to get online and listen to this. And if you don't, before the end of the program, we will give you a way for you to go and to watch a little video to see what we're talking about and to find out if it's something you think might help you. And if it does, I will feel like that has been a big blessing to your life to help you to be healthier yourself as a caregiver or for those that you're taking care of. Now, one other thought that I had, and I've, you know, so many times when we're on the road, I see these signs that are flashing in these cities that will say silver alert and tell you to watch out for a car. We have people who are getting to the point where they have a lot of health issues, but they also have memory issues. They don't know how to get back home once they're lost. But if they were to have a problem and they have this Hilo band on their arms, it could tell us where to find them. I mean, the the GPS that's in there would be such a big help. So if they're having an issue and they their heart doesn't work right or their breathing doesn't work right, their blood pressure, something that triggers somebody needs to check on them, it will tell us where to find them. Can you imagine how many people that we could say, this is just the biggest life gift that we could give to caregivers to be able to help them with the big challenges that they have in caring for themselves and caring for their their loved ones. Tonight I have Sheila Harrison on here and she is just, she's such a delightful person. I get to listen to her talk on her programs and tell us the new things that are happening, new technology that's coming out. And there's more than this. I've got to tell you, there's a lot more than just this that I've mentioned, but this is alone such a wonderful reason to listen to the program tonight. Welcome, Sheila. I appreciate you being on the program, and I know I'm bringing you on where you don't have much time before we go on our first break, but I do want to introduce you and let you just say hello to people and tell us where... How long have you been working with this company? Well, hello, Cheryl, and thank you so much for inviting me to your show t- tonight. I'm actually from uh, Kentucky, um, and I've been with uh, World Global Network since October of 2016, so almost my two-year anniversary here celebrating our licensing technology. Wow. And what did you do before that? Were you just actually, th- sitting I, at home? <laughs> well, I actually, I actually was self-employed, uh, self-employed, worked from home for many years as a business consultant. I have a background in brick and mortar. I was a Subway franchisee for many years, a uh, single mom for 16 years, but um, I stumbled into this type of industry in 2010, sold my brick and mortar in 2012, and went full-time consulting and marketing, and thank goodness someone shared this information with me, Cheryl, two years ago almost uh, here uh, come come October 26th. Wow. Well, we are. I'm excited to have you, and we're going to take our first break, and when we come back, I'm going to let you just jump right in and start sharing some of the information that people need to know about this. So we'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us, get a pencil, get a drink, and be ready when we come back. 
Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. All right. Well, this is something tonight that you're going to really learn a lot. And I hope that you have your ears open and your mind just to listen to the possibilities and try to think in your own life, how would this make a difference in your life with your husband or your wife or your mother, your father, your child, your spouse, someone that is needing to be cared for and sometimes does not have very good communication, not able to tell you things. And then one of the main things, reasons why I emphasize a lot about why caregivers why I'm trying to bring information to caregivers is because as a caregiver myself, I know we neglect neglect our own body so much and we don't realize how sick we're getting until we sometimes break down, burn out, or we pass away. And I was just sharing with a friend uh, a couple of days ago who cares for a person in his life and I was telling him caregivers pass away about 67% more often than the person they're caring for. Now, that's huge. And a lot of that has to do with the amount of stress they're under, how they're trying to take care of somebody else, and they do it without really realizing that they themselves are needing some attention. So, uh, Sheila, let's go back to when you first got involved in this. And I, I know that you are glad to be in this, but tell me a little bit about how it's affected your own life with you and your family. Well, thank you, Cheryl. You know, when I first saw this information um, uh, almost uh, 22 months ago now, I was just so excited because my mind started turning uh, and thinking of all the people that I knew that could benefit. And certain things, of course, about the the HELO wristband stood out to me. And for just so the listeners know, HELO stands for Health and Lifestyle Oracle. So the whole thing just completely amazed me that I wasn't a big, I'm big into fitness and, and um, being proactive and preventative, you know, preventative means of taking care of myself. But I never was into a fitness watch or technology or a wristband or, and I had gotten one actually, you know, for Christmas before, but I'd never really worn it, Cheryl. But when I saw that this innovator had ran ahead and captured the health side of a wristband, I was just amazed that this could do my blood pressure in an EKG. You know, on the right. spot, 24. Hang on just one second here to reject this call. Uh, they could do an actual EKG, you know, 24-7. So I knew that I could actually stop and take my own blood pressure or do an EKG. 
And my husband, actually, Cheryl, have a, had a heart attack uh, back about 10 years ago. So naturally, we are constantly putting a cuff on his arm and taking his blood pressure. He just has a very high blood pressure. And with having a heart attack, we knew this was something that we had to monitor. So uh, I was just blown away with the fact that he could wear this uh, wristband and set the, the health plan on every half hour and it would do an automatic reading for him and that it would report to me as his guardian should his blood pressure be out of, you know, the range of what we had set as far as his health plan and the normal parameters. And so we calibrated his blood pressure and I would get an alarm and then I would say, did you take your blood pressure medicine? Or, you know, we would know that we needed to do something to get him calmed down or get his blood pressure back in a, a non-dangerous range, right? So I knew automatically that that he could benefit. And then my daughter was in college, and so I love the SOS feature. that, And I travel a lot with my business, so I was very attracted to the fact that I could push uh, the SOS button on the side of my helo, and it would send my husband an email or a text message alerting him, as long as I was Bluetooth connected, alerting him that I had an emergency. And so kind of a panic button, so to speak. So I was very fascinated with that. And I thought so many people around me that could, you know, benefit from both the lifestyle side of the helo as well as the health side, Cheryl. So I've been so excited to, to get this on my husband and my daughter's arm and my arm. And then I also myself have an irregular heartbeat. It's called a left bundle branch block. So I've got to demonstrate this for many individuals. And on a couple of occasions, got an irregular arrhythmia on my heart check right in front of, you know, the, the person that I was sharing this with to demonstrate how accurate it is. So I couldn't be more excited to be bringing this to the world, Cheryl. Good. Well, um, you just taught me something I wasn't even aware of, and that's the SOS on there. <laughs> I was amazed at it doing it by itself. So you're just teaching me some more things that it can do. Well, I am. I, I know that we are a very mobile society, and the fact that we're not always right with somebody when they need help, many times they don't get the help in time. So I see how this could really change the way caregivers live, where it can actually bring the stress levels down for them, knowing that, like you, knowing your husband's blood pressure goes too high, it tells you to go check on them. And for me, I mean, I just... I have a son that has cerebral palsy, and he was never able to tell us things. And he will be 48 in September. But the fact that he can't tell us when he was sick or anything was wrong has made it very hard caring for him. And I know that's what a lot of parents go, I mean, a lot of people go through when they're caring for parents. They get Alzheimer's and dementia. A lot of times they can't communicate. And to me, this is something of, that is a huge, huge benefit of being able to be notified to do the checking. And if I hadn't been wearing it myself, I would not realize how important it was. I'm I'm just so glad about this. Well, how many, when you are trying to uh, share this with people, what's the first thing that they want to ask you about? What are some of the questions that people say? Well, what about this or that? Well, a lot of times, Cheryl, they'll compare it to uh, to other wristbands on the market. And then I let them know that our CEO created this device with eradicating disease in his mind. And, of course, we don't treat, diagnose, or cure here. But I let them know very quickly that you can't put a price on peace of mind. And so with the health side of our of our wristband, it's really nice and cool and savvy that we have the steps and calories and the workout plan that we have integrated into our, our wearable. But the nice part about it is that we are gathering data like no other wearable on the planet to give us information to make healthier lifestyle choices. And really that's what it's all about, I think, Shell, is, is being proactive in a preventative measure. So when we live out our, you know, elder years, that we, have a, we are living a better quality uh, of life. In, in our, you know, in our later years, and with bringing even to our parents uh, the wristband, we 
we can help them make choices just simply because of the artificial intelligence now, of course, that we bring to the healer. So, so many people have never seen anything like this before. Their first question is, are you serious? You know, does it really do an EKG? Does it do a full heart check with your blood pressure, your heart rate? And so we don't really focus on one specific feature of the wristband because we know technology is always changing, but we're going to stay ahead of the market bringing new capabilities to our wristband to always help, uh, you know, people like you and me, Cheryl, and the people we care about gather information so that they can help their loved ones and themselves live um live a healthier, a healthier and a better uh, quality of life. Right. And that's great. There's one more product that was just brought out that I was excited. I've already ordered it too. I can't wait to get it, but tell them about the new blood sugar uh, monitor. Oh my, well, when I came on board, I got to meet with Mr. Fabio Galdi, our CEO. And when I was, um, you know, examining this whole entire company. And I was just without words for a few minutes when I heard his story because he's a diabetic and he lost his father to diabetes. So one thing that was real important to him that I knew it was personal, it wasn't, uh, uh, it wasn't all about business, but it was personal, Cheryl, was to bring to the world um, a non-invasive uh, sugar trend monitoring device. And he says that if people can can walk on the moon, they surely can come up with a technology to help people to not be able to have to prick their finger two and three times a day to draw blood to get their sugar counts. And so we've been waiting patiently for him to get this as a class one medical device in Europe so he can roll it out in class. And he did that just two weeks ago. So we're so excited to be bringing this to the world because we know that here in the U.S. there's over 30 uh, 3% diabetic, almost 65% pre-diabetic. And not only, Cheryl, can we bring this to uh, the community that suffers from diabetes, but also to those people who are, are uh, watching their weight through weight management or, or who are like me. I can't wait to get mine when they, sh- when they ship because I am hyperglycemic, and so my sugar can just, can just take a, a, a tumble in a heartbeat. So this is going to be a really valuable add-on the Hilo Extend, and I think that uh, the world deserves the product that Mr. Fabio Galdi has created here in our, here with our Hilo Extend. First, I mean, it's non-invasive sugar trend monitoring, and so it's a, uh, simply a device that goes on the end of our finger, and uh, we calibrate it so if someone does actually um, prick their finger normally, they would just prick the first three times, Cheryl, calibrate their device, and then it would uh, do a numeric reading for them so they would not have to continue to draw blood. I just think it's amazing. And, you know, sugar is a culprit for so and causes so many diseases and so much inflammation that if we could just know that particular little piece of data, how, how much could we make healthier lifestyle choices based around just our sugar reading, Cheryl? Oh, my goodness, yes. And, you know, even if you don't have high blood sugar, like you said, sometimes people have low sugar, and that's what it's dangerous, too, because, you know, they can pass out. And I have uh, seen that happen with several people. So I know that that will be a huge, huge benefit to people. Well, I know that if people have questions and they want to call, let me give the number again. It's 866 451 one four five one, and if somebody is interested in knowing more about this, if they will let me know, I, I'm going to give a way to find a, to reach me. But by the end of the show, but if you're interested in knowing more about it, there is no pressure. This is something to just say. This is what it does. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, maybe you know somebody it would help. But. For us to have healthier lifestyles is one of the most important things that I think we've been trying to do on this program in helping people know with nutrition, with all of the things that we, all the different programs we've had, that this is something else that could really make a big difference in somebody's life. And once again, if you're interested in asking a question, you can call in 866 451 
1-800-331-4451. And this show is on Bold Brave Media, but it's also on TuneIn Radio. It's on iHeart. It's on Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, and the name of the show is Courage to Overcome. And if you look that up, you'll be able to get well, – this will be loaded up uh, in a, about 48 hours from now. This show will be on there, and we'll have a way that you can actually – get a little video if you're interested in doing that and i am so delighted uh, sheila that you can share some of this information when we come back from our break though i want you to be ready to tell them about some of the new things that they've just announced and how it's going to change lives with the uh, smart life with the dna with the things that you hear about it uh, with Ancestry.com, this is totally different. This is amazing how it's going to help our health. And so that's one of the things that we want to do is to share some of the things that are also going to be coming out to help people be able to monitor more and more of their own health issues. And with the cutback in a lot of the Medicare, Medicaid, and all of the budgets for health. I know there are so many more issues now that people just need to be able to do more of their own monitoring of their health. And this is truly worth getting invested in finding out for yourself how you're doing and not wait till some tragedy happens and then you have to make a trip to the hospital or or something like that. I've had to do that a few times this year, and it's not fun to go in and have to go through tests and to find out what's going on. But the this is also, I'm going to give you a way to get on a little website to see something if you're interested in sharing it with someone else. And like I said, this is World Global Network, but it's the the Hilo is the wearable health bracelet that does all of these many things. And then we have the extends that is the part that would measure the sugar. And, you know, the interesting thing, Sheila, is that it just fits over your fingers so much like when you go to the doctor and they're checking your oxygen level. We can do that with our bracelet. We don't even have to have the extra thing. I don't think I mentioned the oxygen level either. And so that's one of the things that a lot of people really need to uh, know about. But this is something that can really help us a lot. Uh, When we are looking at how we improve our health, we definitely want to get right to the source of what's, what's happening. And it's usually the blood pressure, the heart rate, or something. If you want to send a an email to me, you can go to talkwithcherylg at gmail.com, and that's one way that you can write to me, and I will get right back to you. Talkwithcherylg at gmail. I also have a website, talkwithcheryl.com, and I'll be posting a link on there. So that's just one, a couple of the ways that you can get in touch with us, but... Also, I'm going to have Sheila tell how you can get in touch with her tonight, too. But we're interested in helping you make your lifestyle better and being able to know what's happening in your own body. Sheila, do you have like an email that people could write you if they would like to write you? Absolutely. They can write to NCI, that's N is in Nancy, C is in Cat, I is in Indigo, consulting at yahoo.com, NCI consulting at yahoo.com, and I'm happy to answer any questions for anyone. Okay. And that's easy. N, like Nancy, C, I, consulting at yahoo.com. So we're, we're going to be able to take a break and when we come back i want to find out more about the dna and how it's going to help our bodies so we'll be back in just a moment psychologist master certified coach and ceo of the executive and organizational development firm true north leadership Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. 
Maggie is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi-day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact a symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. All right. Now, I told you before we went on break that we were going to find out a little bit about new things that are out. But before we do that, Sheila, tell us a little bit more about why we need to keep up with the oxygen. Well, you know, this was real important to me, Cheryl. They added it on to our last generation. So I'm on my third generation Hilo. I started out with the Classic and then the Hilo LX. And now I have the Hilo LX Plus, which is the only one on our menu, right? So when I got the Hilo LX Plus, I was so excited about the oxygen levels because since it, since I was a child, I have suffered from anemia. So when my when when I my anemia was you know really bad, my red blood count would be um, out of whack, and so my oxygen levels would be low. And so you know I'd go to the doctor and I'd be they would say, "Aren't you weak or out of breath?" And I would say, "Well, this is normal for me. This is all I know, right?" But I didn't have anything to read my oxygen. And I, I, you know, I think that oxygen is so important from, you know, whether we're just breathing normally and getting a big belly breath or, or whether our, uh, like, you know, with the having anemia, something's out of whack in our body. So oxygen is really important for us, right? It's the key element of, of our life. And so I'm so glad that the Hilo has this added feature with medical grade sensors that can tell us in so many out. So many people out there really do monitor their oxygen, and so we can bring it, bring all of this to them in one place on their wrist. And so I was very, very excited about, you know, the possibilities and getting this when I first, you know, heard that it was coming to the wristband. And um, thank goodness my anemia is under control and my oxygen is normal now. But um, I took, you know, preventative means to get my, you know, to get my um, my blood count up, right? To get my blood count up. So uh, now my iron and my blood count is normal, but thank goodness the helo can tell me if that gets out of whack, right, Cheryl? That's right. Absolutely. <clears throat> what about the new technology that they've just released 
to get the DNA. What's the difference in this and what you see on um, Ancestry.com? That's a great, great question, because when we set out with our technology, we, you know, were determined, you know, with our with our corporate staff and, you know, our innovator that we would not be a status quo average company that just sells anything off the shelf, you know, to our members. And so you can only get our products through, of course, an e-commerce website. And so we wanted to make sure that when people came there to visit our products, it was all attached to the technology of our Hilo or our Hilo Extend, <clears throat> which gathers information. So we are the first ever DNA analysis through a smart life solution that's connected to a real-time uh, health monitoring device. So the Hilo is connected to the smart life solution app, which gathers data, Cheryl, uh, that combined with our DNA analysis can give us a month-to-month plan based on what's going on in our body. So, for instance, this summer we may be getting plenty of vitamin D from being out in the sun, but when winter sets in, we may not be getting enough vitamin D. So through the Oracle of the, DNA, uh, of the Smart Life app, uh, it will connect with our wristband and know what's going on in our body through this app and the Oracle and determine a personal month-to-month, every 30-day plan based on our, own, you know, our nutritional, um, you know, own values, based on our genetic makeup. So we say from you for you. Oh, okay. From you for you. Well, I know that they've come up with um, the are going to have health supplements based on what you need for the month. So it's not like I go to the store and even if I go to a health food store and I'm looking for like vitamin D or vitamin B or certain things that I may be deficient in because of some blood test that was taken – it's going to automatically tell me what I need. Is that right? Well, actually, the first step would be, of course, with to get the Hilo on your arm and get the Smart Life app, and to get a D, take the DNA analysis of the. There will be a questionnaire involved, and then the next step would be to actually do a, a saliva test uh, with the swabs, and you send those in. And then when you get your report back, based on your genetic makeup or my genetic makeup, Cheryl, they will have a 23-plus page report based on the individual on the best health plan, the best exercise plan, the, the, the um, what's good for me nutritional-wise or not good for me, uh, might not my shoe might not fit your foot and vice versa, right? So what's good for me might not be good for you. For instance, I'm allergic to sulfur. And I can't eat foods like eggs and things that have garlic, things that have sulfur in them. So, boy, wouldn't that have been great to know because I had a severe allergic reaction about uh, almost two and a half years ago. And it was not a good experience. I had, like, chicken pot blisters. I got bronchial asthma. It was a very scary time for me. But I was taking organic sulfur and vitamin C and taking black strap molasses for my iron. And um, I was just overdosing myself and my body on sulfur and didn't know I was allergic to it. So oh. with the DNA anal- yes, with this DNA analysis, you know, it can look at my body's makeup and tell me what I might be sensitive to where, you know, for instance, my husband's dark complected. So he may need more vitamin D. Dark complected people need more vitamin D than fair complected people like myself. But individualized, personalized plan around our DNA. And then as the Smart Life Solution reads our data each month, that can change a little bit. So, for instance, the supplement could have, um, the supplement could have um, herbs, uh, vitamins, and nutrients um, all determined by your particular genetic makeup. So, for instance, instead of just picking the vitamin off the shelf, and it only has the daily recommended allowance, you might need 2,000, you know, milligrams of a vitamin versus just a small, you know, 100 milligram, where my body might need extra vitamin C. 
So, you know, people with uh, heart conditions maybe need more vitamin C, Cheryl, because that builds up your arteries and your blood vessels. And so uh, I'm really curious to see how this is going to, how this report's going to look when I get it, when I get my DNA report. And uh, we can also add on the drug sense of, you know, the sensitivity part is a second step from the health plan. And the ancestry will, is coming soon, but I know now we can get the uh, basic health plan, nutritional plan, and the drug sensitivity connected with our Hilo technology. So, I mean, it's just amazing uh, what World Global is putting together to change lives around the world. Well, it really is. I mean, I hadn't heard of this before just, what was it, a month or two ago that I had uh Doris on here to help explain what this was and I was just amazed at the things she kept telling me so uh, what if you get this and you need some help with it what kind of support do you have we have a um, so we have a customer support at down in Utah so and they're very very friendly I've worked with them uh, you know now for the, my my you know, my entire time here at World Global Network, and uh, they're like family to me. But we have our our uh, customer support line there. And then we uh, are very, um, you know, very camaraderie-built team here. I think we have one of the closest teams in the company. And me and my partner, Terry Bernier, and then Doris, we, uh, we have just been here from the very beginning. And so people think we were in the room, Cheryl, when they created the firmware. So... Uh, we <laughs> offer support seven, seven days a week to our team. So what we don't know, we know how to get the answers. If we don't know, there's such great leadership within the field of this company that we know where to go quickly to get our answers. Well, uh, I know you said that you started this because you went into it as a business. So if you share the information, people can also share the information with people they know and be able to uh, be able to do this as a business also if they wanted to, correct? Absolutely. It's as simple as when you, you know, you purchased your, la- your first, say your first computer or your first smartphone, and they've given you a receipt at the checkout with a free website, and you could have shared in the profits of your favorite brand, where would you and your family be today financially had you gone to work with hard work and dedication? So, uh, with anything, you've got to you've got to share your website and get the word out. But there is an opportunity uh, because that was one of our CEO's main goals was to actually to to uh, help people both from a health standpoint and from a financial standpoint with the pay plan. So, like I said in the beginning, uh, no big billboard signs and no big box stores. You can only order through like an individual's website. So we all get those websites at checkout. And it's up to us if we want to pass it on or not and be a part of the referral program, Cheryl. But a very generous pay plan for those who go to work with hard work and dedication to share this wonderful information. Well, and, you know, those are all good reasons to do it. For me, I think the biggest thing has been to see how amazing this technology is to be able to share it with people who are caregivers. Because I personally Having been a caregiver and I've had the health issues, I see the benefit of how it can change lives. And I I love the fact that you told about the owner and the developer of this, that he was more interested in solving the health issues, eradicating disease more than he was about trying to make money. And I, I love that because the motive that he had for doing this was because he, not, he he knew firsthand what it was like to care for his dad and to be able to get somebody to pay attention to the things that needed to be paid attention to. We're going to take another break. And when we come back, we'll be sure and give you some information about how to get uh, in touch with us. So we'll be back in just a moment. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. 
Ms. Dipula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. All right. Uh, This has been such a great program tonight to be able to learn something that could literally help you with your health and caring for someone else. I just can't say enough about that because I'm really interested in helping you be able to make caregiving easier on you as a caregiver because I know it is a difficult job. And you know, so many people that have to begin the role of caregiver, it's a sudden thing. And all of a sudden, they find out the doctor says your parents can't go home again, or they need to be looked after. And there's no way for you to put them in a nursing facility. Maybe you don't have the money, or maybe you want to keep them home like we did with our mom, my mom wanted to be home. But to be able to know what's going on if they don't want to leave their home and to be able to continue to help them is just a tremendous thing. Sheila, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about Fabio and what you were telling me about the company. Well, this was one of my deciding factors, Cheryl, when I chose this company to, when I was consulting and then I saw the opportunity was because when I, when I met with Mr. Fabio Galdi, I saw that, as I shared earlier, that, you know, he was principle-driven and purpose-driven about helping people. But then back in January at the largest trade show in the world, electronic trade show, he demonstrated our non, uh, non-invasive sugar trend monitor as it was, you know, we just rolled it out a few weeks ago, but he demonstrated the ability and announced it to the public. At that time, he was offered more money than any of us on this on this uh, uh, call could actually even, or the show could even imagine. And um, his, some of his staff members wanted him to ex- accept the offer, but he said only through our distributors here at World Global Network can, you know, you purchase this um, technology. And he refused to sell because he didn't want this information squashed by Big Pharma or by anyone that would not bring it to the public. And so it spoke volumes to me about his character, his purpose, and his mission with all of his innovations. And I don't know that he ever sleeps, Cheryl, because he's always uh, (laughs) surprising us with coming up with something new. Wow. Well, I know you know more about him than I would. I want to give just a short little link. Uh, If somebody's looking for some information, all you have to put in is Courage Helps. Dot com, and it will go right over to the World uh, Pro site that talks about uh, the different things that we've mentioned on here. It talks about the Smart Life solution. It talks about Hilo. It talks about the little sticker biozins that you can put on technology to cut down on the harmful rates. It's supposed to cut it in half. So there's a lot of things there. If you would like to reach out and talk to Sheila again. Sheila, one more time, give us your email, how we reach you. It's nciconsulting at yahoo.com. nciconsulting at yahoo.com is my email, Cheryl. Okay. And is there is there something else that you know that we meant to talk about that could be a question somebody's got? The only thing I can think of, Cheryl, is just that with this technology, you know, our parents are so used to caring for us, right? That's all we know, and I care for my children. And so it's hard to pass the platon, you know, it's hard to pass it on or switch roles. It's very hard. I, You know, I know as a caregiver, um, sometimes we're caring for our children, and then as we get older, we have to care for our parents. And I just think the Hilo, the Health and Lifestyle Oracle, is a very non-pushy, non-obtrusive way to pass that on because you can just put the Hilo on their arm and then 
you could say, you know, mom or dad, I'm going to put you as my guardian and you put me as yours. So now I'm looking after you, but you're also still looking after me. So it doesn't oh. take, it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of pride there sometimes with our parents when we switch roles with them. So I just love this technology because you just put a wristband on and simply care for each other, uh, Cheryl. It's just, a, it's amazing how we can twist that around where with caregiving, it's not very pushy and switching those roles. Right. Oh, I love that. That's wonderful. And like we've said to you set the standard of when you want to be notified if something goes wrong, you set the parameters of the heart rate, the how fast or how slow that you want to be notified if something changes or the blood pressure. You can always go in and do that EKG with them and help them, you know, to do that. Uh, there's just so many things that are connected to this that I, I really love. The oxygen level, we've talked about so much. The sleep. Now, I have to tell you that I know I don't sleep very good. And I, I haven't, and that's why I have to have a CPAP. But one of the things when I got this that just really shook me up was seeing that for me, a normal night's sleep, has been, you know, it may say a total of five hours, and I may be in bed eight, but it it will say maybe five, but it says I wake up seven times. Last night, I woke up seven times. I got an hour and 27 minutes of good sleep and three hours and 41 minutes of very light sleep, and much of the night was just awake, and it just... it, it just brings home the fact that you think, well, I didn't sleep good. But when you see it like that, you see, oh, it really is something else. Okay, we need to tell you next week we'll be looking forward to having you, having our show and having you as our guest uh, to come back and listen for more tips on how to have a healthier life, how to have a better life as a caregiver. And we'll look forward to having you on Bold Brave Media. This is Cheryl Jennings, your host. If you want more information, just go to couragehelps.com, C-O-U-R-A-G-E-H-E-L-P-S.com, couragehelps.com. And you can always just go to talkwithcheryl.com. At dot com, and I would love to hear from you. If you need help with anything, let me know because that's how we decide on what the programs are going to be about. Thank you for being here, Sheila. Thank you for being our guest tonight, folks. See you next week. You've been listening to Courage to Overcome with your host, Cheryl Jennings. Be it Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, or autism, listen each week for an informative look into the lives of those challenged by these and other disabilities today on the next episode of Cheryl Jennings' Courage to Overcome. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.